Also on the crime watch, charges have been filed against a community leader in Greenfield. He's now being charged with extortion, and this afternoon he made his first court appearance where we learned new details surrounding the case. Action News reporter Felix Cortez is live outside the Salinas Courthouse with more. Well, Aaron, today we learned this case is much bigger than just one person. There are more defendants and more victims. According to Greenfield Police, Andres Cruz Garcia and Francisco Sanchez Marino were leaders in the growing Oaxacan community in Greenfield. Investigators say the group, the pair, claimed to help, instead fell victim to their threats and extortion. Extortion involves making threats in order to obtain certain things, such as money. So that is what they are being charged with. The Greenfield police chief says the allegations involve tens of thousands of dollars, and Wednesday we learned the case is bigger than previously reported. Four men, including Garcia and Marino, have been charged with extortion and making criminal threats against four members of the Oaxacan community. But there may be more victims out there. We would encourage them to come forward to law enforcement. Because if they're victims, we want to help them. We want to, we want to go after those people that are harming them. We can and will assist people if they're victims. The men came under suspicion earlier this year when complaints came into the Greenfield PD. The FBI and the DA's office got involved. It culminated with search warrants being served at multiple locations where guns and cash were confiscated. Each of the four men now being held on $2 million bail because they pose a danger. The reason for the $2 million bail is that we do believe that these individuals pose a threat to the community. Um, we are definitely concerned with multiple counts of extortion in play, that if they are out, they will continue to make threats in order to accumulate um, more money. Now, Garcia and Marino did not enter police today. They'll be back in court tomorrow for appointment of counsel and possibly to enter police. Aaron, Dan. All right, Felix, thank you. The case is being investigated by the Monterey County District Attorney's Office with help from the FBI.